Let's talk more now with uh, our defense analyst, Rabbi Shabandar, who joins me live in the studio. Thanks for coming in. We would expect Israel to uh, act against Iran in Syria. So what is actually surprising about this admission? Well, what's so interesting here is that we're hearing a number officially acknowledged for the first time by senior Israeli officials on the record, looking at 200 targets in Syria that were reportedly hit. Now, that's 200. That's a lot of targets, mm. uh, Andrea. We're talking about drone operations bases, uh, command and control centers, and even weapon depots that are reportedly controlled by Iran operating in Syria that the Israeli Air Force has hit in two years. Of course, Iran is Israel's arch adversary, but it's also been instrumental in propping up militarily Bashar al-Assad's regime at a crucial time in the Syrian conflict. So some an interesting intersection there. And just yesterday, we've seen reports that another sensitive military site in Syria, reportedly controlled by the Iranian Revolutionary Guards in the city of Masyaf, northwestern Syria, was also reportedly hit, possibly by the Israeli Air Force. Now, that's a sensitive site that's involved in missile production and research. So mm -hmm. we can expect more of these strikes to come and to continue to happen in the near future in Syria. Okay. I mean, so Israel is set to continue then on this path. path. This is the strategy it will pursue going forward. Well, Andrea, remarkably, neither the Assad regime nor the Iranian Revolutionary Guards have responded militarily against Israel following the admission of these strikes. 200 targets hit in two years. That's a very high pace, operational pace of Israeli airstrikes that have hit sites from Damascus all the way to the northwestern part of the country. So this plausible deniability policy by the Israeli military may be working to prevent a wider escalation. But this latest admission by the Israeli intelligence minister may certainly prove embarrassing for Iran and for Syria and the Syrian regime. And of course, as we know, this part of the world just takes one spark to light a wider fire. Mm, okay, Ubay, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for that.